Welcome back. So if you guys do not know this by now, presents are easier to get than ever before. You guys should be able to go ahead and hop into Ultimate Freeze and get presents basically right away, which is basically the best thing ever. Honestly, when I saw this new format, I thought it was basically going to be the worst thing possible for getting presents, but it actually is one of the better things to get presents to be fair because you have your overall gated ones which if you're a certain overall you'll get the presents that you need and boost will help you to get the ones that you can't even reach unless you're really under the overall then you're not going to get those but boost could help you definitely and then the achievement based one just by grinding throughout the game getting certain amount of stuff you can get the presents on the top and everyone should be able to get all the presents and like day one i think the one you guys will be short of getting is the win 75x ultimate freeze you know events that's the one you should be short was the silver present so yeah don't worry about that one but presents easier to get than ever you got the ones that open early which are your bottom ones overall gated which i opened like two ready we get to open another one 20 hours which is day three and then day four is the pink one and day five is the purple one now i basically have all of them besides the overall gated ones which is the 4000 overall needed and the 5000 overall needed so yeah, if I had that overall, I would have all the presents right now, which is actually pretty crazy. But right here, I have two red presents and I got my silver present already without even doing my silver present. Because if you guys grind throughout this game and get candy canes, you guys can get candy canes throughout your goals, which you guys need to do right away. Um, basically, you had enough to get, I think, like 12 on day one. On day two, you only get one. I think every day... There's a daily ice out thing, which if you spend 500 event stamina, you get one candy cane. So now it's one candy cane per day. But if you do grind your events and do this last event, you have chances at getting another candy cane every time you play. So you guys are going to be focusing on just grinding the candy cane event. But then you will be short on maybe getting a player because these are the main ones. If you do these all of them 15 times, 15 times, 15 times, that's three times you need so you go ahead and get your uncommon player you get the uncommon players you put them in for the rares you take rares get them epics and then epics go into the iconics obviously that is how the cycle goes but again candy games are a different way they're not 15 stamina they're 30 stamina and you don't even get one guaranteed every time you do it you get a chance but you also get a chance to get an epic and or iconic which is pretty cool but back to the present thing, I know that's basically the candy canes. Candy canes are surrounded by presents this year because if you guys do get five candy canes, you will get a random present. Now this random present, uh, your possible present rewards are a red present, yellow present, white present, silver present, and gold present. Now I got a silver present out of this and I got a red present, which is pretty cool. But just uh, open this the next time and I get a gold present. That's a purple present. That's an epic present. So yeah, that's not bad. So it says those are your possible presents. I don't know if you could get one that's not in the possible kind of category, unless you could. I'm, I'm not too sure. Um, they just say possible presents. So that's your possible presents you can get out of the, you know, random present trade. And now they do have these other ones, which you can trade candy canes for 93 plus. And this trade may reward a rare and epic so yeah you can get a rare epic out of there 93 plus it's kind of risky this is so pointless though 5,000 coins or 500 training points for one candy cane getting one candy cane throughout this game is actually really hard you have chances to pull a candy cane and you might not pull one every single time you get you know a certain amount of stamina like i had 240 something stamina didn't even have a chance to pull one candy cane out of all that stamina wasted on the event which is actually crazy so yeah make sure you guys you know I guess go the different routes. I myself, as I should just put this down right now, am going for presents. I will grind for candy canes as much as I want. I'm hopefully going to get an iconic of my choice, which will hopefully be the Lamar Jackson. Uh, but I want to go ahead and get presents. I want to go ahead and get more presents that, you know, is guaranteed because they guarantee you basically all the presents. If, you know, overall gate, if you have that certain overall. They do open early, obviously, but the ones that they do give you on top of the achievement ones. If you guys want to double those, you have to go throughout the trades, get candy canes, and double them. So I'm going to try to double them as much as I can, hopefully getting maybe two each of them, or maybe close to three each of them at towards the end of this program. We have a week left. It is doable. It is possible, and I'm going to try to do it. Presents are really different this year. Um, I think, like, to be fair, in my opinion... This is like one of the better Maddens of how EA is pursuing with presents because before it was either you grind for presents or you grind 
for iconics this time you can get iconics and presents now what are in the presents that's really the whole concern right now you're just seeing presents with different colors obviously and we can kind of take a gander at this because we have already opened the blue present and we have already opened the green present so the blue present as you guys should all know gave you a candy cane and i think it was 50 program stamina and the green one gave us two uncommons and a candy cane and 100 stamina which is program stamina so it was decent now the next day the orange one opens so this one will give us maybe a rare maybe a chance in an epic and maybe two candy canes and some program stamina unless they change it up i don't know how they're gonna do it but then the epics what are the epics gonna have in store for us because to be fair what i was thinking was like we're all getting these presents right so they're not going to be as good but they're going to have enough stuff in them to get us stuff throughout the game obviously but they're not going to be as good so i was thinking like the overall gated ones should be like the best ones so i'm thinking the 4000 overall needed and the 5000 overall needed are going to be one of the best epic presents that they're going to give to you just because that's a lot of overall needed 4000 overall some free-to-play people should be at right now um definitely if you have boost you should be at that and I don't think if you're free to play, you could have a 5,000 even with boost. Maybe you could. I'm not too sure. But I'm pretty sure this 5,000 presents only for the pay to win people. So, yeah. Now, on your achievement one, you have all the low presents, which are your commons and rares. And the last one is the gold present, which is your only epic present throughout your achievements. So, yeah, that's the only one they're really giving, which everyone should get it straight away and yeah that's all you get uh, what's in this gold epic epic is the best present okay epic is basically your 5000 overall gated one so epic is definitely your best present if it's sealed at a 5000 overall needed it's gonna be your best present by far so this is definitely going to be the best present out of all the presents and if it's not that's concerning you know it has to be it's the highest rarity of all the presents and to be fair, it's the second one of the epics. I would say the purple present is like your purple present number one, just because it's overall gated and it's 5,000. I know it opens early and it'll disappear and the gold present will be the only present needed because that purple present almost on the 19th. So yeah, they have not that much presents. Now, I don't know if they're gonna add more presents into Madden Mobile 23. They could definitely do that, but how would we get them? Would we have to go ahead and grind through the achievements and how long would these achievements take us to get these presents that you guys added because the only presents we have are basically the white present your gold present your silver present your yellow present and your red present we have only four presents that will open on christmas day and you guys to stack up on those as i said wait is it four no it's five one two three four five it's five it's five did i did I miss one? Oh no, I counted wrong. One, two, three, four, five. It's five. It's five. Okay, guys, it's five. So you have five presents that will open on Christmas Day. So you basically will need to go ahead and just grind your achievements, which it's very easy. The only one, as I said, you guys should be short with is your 75 events for Ultimate Freeze. I think that's basically self put because that's a lot of events to play. I have only 61% played out of there. Once I get some more program seven and play it, I should definitely hit it. Uh, but throughout grinding, I already have the silver present, which is pretty cool. I wonder how good this, the rare ones will be because the rare ones should be better than the uncommons. Uncommons were decent, you know. We got like uncommons out of there, candy canes and program stamina. So hopefully, rare ones are a little bit better, which we get maybe rare players, chance at epics or better. And then maybe the epic ones will give us chance at iconics or maybe have an iconic. Maybe this gold present might have a chance on an iconic because it's gold. Or maybe it glows yellow too. Like, don't get us wrong. It like. There's some sparks of yellow on there so i don't know i'm concerned to what's inside of these presents and what's to come for christmas day because we only have five presents now as i said if you guys go ahead and throw out trade and grind and get candy canes and get that you will get double that so you just stack up on the five presents that we have the early presents are nice because we get to open early presents that's the first time in mammal history that ever has happened and you will get your presents and then you can just go like okay ea actually just gave us presents the only presents we get and if you have a certain overall you're like okay we get to open these presents early now i could just grind throughout this game and get iconics and then just be on with my day 
I'm still opening presents on Christmas Day because I just grinded the achievements. I didn't need to get currencies or badges to put into the trades to get these presents. It's a different route. So maybe you're in that kind of situation. But that's going to do it for this one. I hope you guys did enjoy. Drop a like on the video and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.